Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have this Unity thermal camera UTI 260B, which unfortunately has died. I left it charging, and when I came back, you found it taking uh, four amps of current, and it was really hot to touch. So when I tried to turn it on, it never turns on. Okay, so let's open it together and see what went wrong on it and if we can fix it together okay so let's take it apart first i think there is two rubber pads here that needs to be taken off and i think there is two screws up here and we need to take this plastic sheet which covers the display okay so let's try and take it without destroying anything okay here is one and this is the other one now I think to take this plastic sheet we need to heat it a little bit and use a spudger like this one to pry it open. Okay so this cream protector is out as you can see it has a double sided tip. And as you can see, we have two screws up here. Okay, let's take the screws out. Okay, so the screws are all untightened. They just stick there. Okay, this is one. Okay, all screws, six screws are now off. And as you can see, we need to pry it this way because there is a ribbon cable here. Okay, so let's disconnect the battery. Here is the battery. I don't know if the battery still has charge or it has been discharged because there might be a short on the circuit. Let's test it. We have four volts actually there, but the camera does not start. So let's take this ribbon cable. Okay, I want to connect the USB charger cable here to the board again and see if it's still takes four amps okay so i don't know if there is anything shorted here next to the battery charging circuit or next to the controller circuits inside there okay so i will connect the charger let me bring a meter okay as you can see it works we have 5.22 volts and 0, 0.00 amps let's connect the camera and see if it draws anything so it draws three, uh, 4 amps, 4.6 amps, and the voltage gut drops to 4.2. So I don't know if we can feel the heating component. Fortunately, I have another camera, which is mounted here. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but it is mounted on my microscope. Let me turn it on. And I will inject voltage again using the USB-C. Okay, here is the thermal camera. As you can see, let's try and inject the voltage again or connecting the USB-C. Okay, so it is connected. As you can see, we have something heating up down here, this chip. Okay, so let me take it off. Let me turn on the microscope so you can see. Okay, so here is the IC. It's U6. I think the spudger has melted on it while I was pointing to it. Yeah, I think. So let me clean it off and uh, see if we can read the marking of it. I need to clean off the spudger uh, remainings. Okay, so the marking I think is A25, P or something like that. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, 3025P. And the first one, I think it's 6. Yeah, I think it's 6. So let me search about it and see if I can find anything. Okay, so here is the IC. Its port number is actually TPS630250. 
and the marking is 63025 p and it's not that expensive four pieces for eleven dollars so i think i will order one and uh, we will install it together okay so the part has arrived the part number is tbs 630250 so let's take out the faulty IC and replace it with a, a new one okay do we need to take the board out let's take the screws and lift it a little bit of the board of the case and see if we can perform this operation without taking the the whole board out because there is the sensors over here I don't want to disconnect the sensors but a screw here might conduct the heat downwards to the case so it will melt the plastic so let me take the screws and see if we can lift it a little bit of the case okay so the board is off the case and here is the sensors there is actually a heat sink over them and this ribbon cable what connects the sensors to the board I think we can disconnect it easily yeah so now we can take off this IC I will do it like this so the hot air will not damage this ribbon cable of the screen and it will not affect this connector over here also and this connector okay let's take a new one here is a new IC and let's go under the microscope okay so this is the IC and I think this is uh, bin number one is over here yeah I think so the new one will be fitted like so so it's 63025P exactly the same as this one but the part number is TPS 630250 okay let's take this one and replace it with a new one okay so the IC is out let me use leaded solder to reduce the solder temperature okay so I think it's soldered correctly let's let's try it I will connect the battery let's connect the charger and see if it does uh, charge and yeah it does charge actually so the IC is working it wasn't charging and this IC was getting extremely hot and it was drawing 4 amps at 5 volt and now it's only 1.2 amps 5 volts 1.2 amps 1.3 amps let's connect a meter okay 5 volts and if we connect it 1.3 amps 4.7 volts 1.3 amps so it is charging the battery correctly let's check the charging at the battery 4 volts 0 0.099 will it go up and yeah it is actually charging very slowly but it is charging yeah it is charging so the camera is now fixed let's try and uh, turn it on without the charger but we need this uh, panel here to turn it on the switch is here so let me give me a few minutes to install it all together and then I will try and turn it on with you okay so I installed the board into the chassis onto the case and I put the thermal pads over the ICs there is two ICs the one I just replaced and there is another one here and I put thermal pads over them to protect them if they get overheated again okay let me put the front cover and we will test it again
Okay, let's try and turn it on. And yeah, it does work. Unity. So this IC was the main issue on it and caused it to stop working. And yeah, it does work as previous. Okay, so this thermal camera is now back to work. I hope you enjoyed this repair. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you in another video.